Hi there and welcome to the first tutorial on the DSO Nano. This tutorial is designed for people that don't know how to use oscilloscopes and would like to learn how to use the DSO Nano. On the screen here the first thing we see is a version 2 DSO Nano. The restate is showing up here. So far the software seems to work. All the firmware upgrades work on both of them. And time will tell what the future holds. Further down the page here, we'll find the one that we're going to use as our test vehicle right here. This is version, I believe it's 1.1. The box is V11, but it probably means version 1.1 since it came out the version 2 later. So this little device here is the size of an MP3 player. It gives you 1 megahertz single channel oscope capabilities. And the support website for this is where we are. This location right here. Look up here and see where you go to find it. We have a forum here. Under the forum you select tech support and select DSO Nano. And what I want you to notice is down here we have DSO firmware version 3.4. This firmware version is provided by a person with the handle of Ben F. He's very profound at using the software that this Nano uses, and he's made many revisions to the software. I highly recommend that you get the current version, version 3.40, and install it on your DSO Nano before you learn how to use it. The reason is he's made the buttons more much more intuitive and he's made many improvements in the software so I highly recommend that you keep up to date with his latest releases at this time the latest release is version 3.40 so you just click here to download it and then we'll show you what to do next by going to this web page and clicking on downloads you'll be given a list of download directories the important thing that I want you to look at is down here near the bottom. It's called UM0412ZIP. It's a tool. It's a DFU SE demo version 3 for firmware upgrading. You have to click on this device and this link and download that file. Once you download it, then we'll have to unzip it. So let's get the file downloaded first. When you unzip this file, you find there's a demo version 3 set up and there's a demo version 3 set up for 64-bit computers. So 32-bit computers, 64-bit computers in README. Once you unzip and install that program, you'll find it in your program system under this heading here. Um, what is it? ST Microelectronics, DFUSC and you click on DFUSC demonstration to run it. So let's give it a click. Start it up and move it up so you can see the whole thing on the screen. Now at this point, all you have to do is plug the USB cable in to your DSO Nano. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, once you've installed and operated the software, you get the screen shown here. At this point, we're going to hold the down arrow key and turn on the DS, DSO Nano. Here you can see the DSO Nano being turned on while I hold the down arrow. This places it in the firmware upgrade mode. So at this point, you go up here and you select Choose. And I already had it, but you go find wherever your software is. I keep mine under the version updates right here. BNF version 340 is the latest update. There's two files there that you unzipped earlier when you downloaded the BNF 3.4 update zip file. So the, the lib file, I always do the lib first. They say it doesn't matter which one. So you select the file you want to upload into the DSO Nano and you click open. Now you click your verify after the download. They call it download. So you click on the upgrade button. And it gives you this warning. It's not sure which device to use. We're going to say continue yes. And now it's updating 
the library portion and it verified it says it's successful. So now we simply choose the other which is the application data open that verify still checked and upgrade once again it's not sure who it is do it anyway at this time the uh, DSO Nano has been upgraded one point I didn't notice it defaults and to select the internal flash memory we're uploading to the internal flash memory so I just make sure that's highlighted which it is by default so unless you change it it'll be in the proper position so that's all there is to uploading a um, firmware change to the DSL Nano now you just simply turn off your DSL Nano unplug the USB cable and turn it back on and it'll wake up and when you turn it back on in the bottom right hand corner to tell you version 3.4 over whatever version you just upgraded to so that's the upgrade procedure for DSL Nano. Here you can see the DSL Nano waking up in version 3.40. That's the version we use for this training course, so downgrade if you have to.